Alrighty, here we are on week two of summer. We've got so much going on. Robin is building a new building for us, the stable. Copper frying pan's ready, and it is Gus's birthday today. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. He's one of the characters that loves diamonds, which makes it pretty simple for us. I'm pretty sure we have a diamond. Yeah, 15, just a couple. So I do have an overall goal that I would like to accomplish today. And that is, I want to get a tree farm started up. I think that'll be really useful now that we're starting to unlock a couple of more recipes that will require items from tree taps. So we have our coop here. I need to really figure out where exactly this is gonna be. I think I'm gonna use this area here since, oh gosh, this really extends quite a ways, doesn't it? That's uh, Grandpa's shrine up there. I don't think I've ever came back to look. All right, well, first thing on our list of things to do, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this area out, and then, lucky us, we have the tree transplant mod so we can transplant any trees that we need. All right, I believe the area is adequately empty. There's two trees that grew together that shouldn't be able to. I realized partway through that I don't actually have to destroy the trees. All I have to do is destroy everything else because the trees, I can, I can just use the trees. I can rearrange them. And I think this will be a very, oh, it goes down here. Okay, I was gonna say, it'd be a nice thing to have next to that minecart since it'll all be easy reaching distance, but it seems that may not be the case. All right, with that, it is... I just realized I cannot transplant trees because Robin is working on my stable. That's inconvenient. Okay, well, I guess I'll prep the area for it in that case. Well, Gus, I just really wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out on you. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. It's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes I hear too much. He knows everything. You got this for me? That's wonderful. Thank you. Cool, uh, that's going to be an easy three hearts. Wow, we actually, we're doing pretty well with hearts, aren't we? Usually that's something I struggle with when playing through the game, but I think I've been distributing my time pretty well so far. One thing that we could possibly do is just try to get as many tappers ready as we can, because I don't, I don't know how many copper bars we have right now. All right, Clint, give me back my copper pan. I almost forgot about this copper frying pan cool uh so just shit taking a look steel frying pan allows the use of three ingredients I, so i wonder how that works if i can just like use two sashimi ingredients at the same time to get everything i need from it so how are we doing on well we have one copper bar so there is that <laughs> that's not particularly great okay then i think that'll be the focus of today then is getting enough tappers for all the trees that I plan to grow. I didn't, first of all, oh, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. That is an ancient fruit. Uh, Well, for this first, nice. <laughs> for this first ancient fruit, let's see. We can't make seed makers yet, can we? I think I'm just going to donate this ancient fruit. All right, I'm gonna give a trip to Olivia and then we're gonna go to the mines. This has got to be loved, or like something, right? Thoughtful of you, that feels liked, which is unfortunate. That's okay. We'll get there. She's number five, so we're not like outright awful with it. Just could have been better. So the mine's entrance is back to normal, just in case you are wondering. Uh, however, it looks like the Adventure Guild is still all the way out there, which is weird because that's kind of what I wanted the mines to be close for but all right well that's okay I suppose another thing to think about we're so close to floor 100 we could get that star drop that would be really nice you know what yeah let's see if we can't do that <laughs> level up in mining sure I'll take it it seems I've had the fortune of finding yet another special slime and it's gonna kill me and I'm going to die no, we'll be fine. Come on now. 
Good lord. You see how much it crits? That burglar shank. Shank. 7 to 12 damage. Plus 2 crit chance. Plus 25 crit power. I don't know how much crit power ties into an increase of damage. I just don't know how exactly the calculation is done. So we'll play around with it for a little bit. Well, <laughs> I've attacked like 20 times and I haven't gotten a single critical hit. So I'm thinking it might just not be good. It's kind of looking like I'm not even going to get down five floors, which is super bad. That's not great. Minus eight defense. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll just tank that. 11. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get out of here. Bone sword, 20 to 30 plus four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't say no to that. The increased speed is going to be so much better. Now, you know what would be nice? If I could really easily get to the Adventurer's Guild <laughs> so that I could really quickly sell off all my weapons. But nope, it has to be a mile away now. Oh, well. Well, we are going to get to bed. Uh, I think I think that means that our building will be ready tomorrow. So we can go ahead and move around all the trees. Yeah, we got transmute to gold. All right, what do we got going on today? I can't help but notice it is the ninth of summer and we haven't had any rainy days yet. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Guess I don't really need to check the fortune teller. Let's see. Coffee beans are ready to harvest once again. Potted camellia. Salmon dinner from Gus. Oh yeah, I guess we would start getting stuff from Gus. Parsnip soup from Carolyn. And we got some basic retaining so fo soil from Jody. Jeez, that's actually quite a lot to go on all in one night. All right. Let me think about what we're doing today. So she did finish the stable, which is super exciting because that means that we can not only use our brand new horse, which should be better than the average horse, there's horse upgrades. And I don't know exactly how to start upgrading the horse, but I guess we'll figure it out. So name my horse. Oh gosh. I guess since the animals are phones, the horse should be a phone too. Uh, you know what? I feel like this is a good name. Razor. Like the, the Motorola Razor. Cool. We have Horsey now. That's great. And it does have saddlebags. Okay. It starts out with saddlebags. All right. Well, we have bad luck again today, which really isn't great for us. Chicken statue. Uh, have we already donated a chicken? Okay. We have donated a chicken statue, which means I can show something off, I think think. So that resin thing that we have going, its real purpose is to turn extra artifacts that you have or just extra items of pretty much any kind into something that can be sold or used as a decoration. I don't really know how to use it though. I think we might need to get that uh, PFA production thing. It's a mod that allows you to use automate with modded machines. Okay, uh, let's go straight over to Robin's. I don't think I need any materials to transplant trees. I guess we'll find out. And it's Tuesday. It's always like that, isn't it? It was brought to my attention that we should probably start getting friendship with the wizard because there's a couple of new things. That, who are you? Jody? Oh, I barely recognized her from behind. There's a couple of things that are added from getting friendship with the wizard since he's like romanceable and all that now. So they really expanded on his area of expertise. So let's go ahead and do that mission. We should be encountering a couple more enemies than usual due to the bad luck that we seem to have every single day. But you know what? We're thriving. Wow, that took a while. What are those? Is that just gold? Is that just gold ore? It looks weird. I really and truly don't know what to get rid of. I guess the bat wings. Yeah, it's just gold ore. I don't know. It looked weird and clumpy. Yeah, I mean, at least I got a lot done in that trip. I'll tell you what. I'm probably fairly close to completing the skeleton goal, the skeleton slayer goal. So that's good. Got plenty of good ore. And speaking of which, I think... I'm going to take this moment to... I think I know what mod I'm going to add next. I didn't add any mods in this 
episode, but... So there's a mod that basically you stand near chests, you press organize or like distribute, and all of the items get distributed to all the chests that they need to go into, which would be really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and make a chest and I'm going to use this chest for the furnaces. I think I'm ready to like start doing that because we have a lot of ore that would be very nice to have. So it'll start making the iron ore first, then it'll, you know what, let's organize this. I would like it to prioritize copper, then iron, then gold. And it should pull in that order. So now that'll be automated. Uh, I'm not really too worried about our coal production at this point, we should have plenty. So now another test. I'm going to see if we can just cook t with two items for sashimi. There. Oh my gosh, yeah, it looks like we can do that and then it'll cook it all at once. Now I was told if you cook recipes one at a time, you get more experience for it. I will not be doing that <laughs> because I mean, that would take literally forever. I think we can all agree. Lucky for us, the wizard's place closes at 11, so it's easy enough to get in. I should have brought a loved item or something for you. Oh, he's red now. The elementals will be pleased with the job you did. Yeah, so we'll try to focus on him a bit more since it apparently unlocks a lot of stuff. So guess we'll see. All right, I pretty much cut down a ton of trees on our way back so that I'd have wood for, well, both tea saplings and tappers and anything else that happens to pop up, I think. We'll go ahead and make 10 tea saplings. That's actually a lot more than I thought I could make. And we can make 50 summer seeds just real quick. Okay, go ahead and sell that. Honestly, I'm almost tempted just to straight out sell the summer seeds because, I mean, look at how much we have. We're going to be so limited by fiber and I don't really want to spend too much time every single day grinding out all the fiber I possibly can, you know? Wow, oh god, I didn't expect to make that much money today. Mahogany seeds are worth quite a bit. That's surprising. All right, today's the day. It's Mario's birthday. Huh, well, funny thing is, we happen to have the perfect thing for that potted geranium. I'm surprised we're still catching up on that. And tomorrow's the luau, oh gosh. Oh goodness, so we need to get something for the luau. I don't think we have anything particularly special at the moment. A super cucumber would be possible if we were able to get a gold or iridium super cucumber. That gives us the best possible result. It's usually my go-to alongside getting our tree farm set up because now Robin's finally going to be selling stuff so we can utilize her. Did I just get an extra hot pepper from that harvest? I didn't think hot peppers could give extra harvests. That feels like something that just kind of happened willy-nilly, I don't know. Lucky us, we do happen to have some gold star strawberries for Maru, so that's she's really going to love that. And since we'll be in town, I'll go ahead and take a trip to the community center. Do I not have enough fiddlehead ferns for the wild medicine bundle yet? I should probably start working on that. Claire, you probably like a hot pepper. Thank you. Yeah, okay. That seems like a like. Oh, bring the wizard a red mushroom. I can do that. Ooh. Well, we'll start getting some gosh dang friendship with him, won't we? I know Shane is a fan of hot peppers, so of course we'll give him some. Alrighty now. Put a hot pepper into the summer crops bundle. The rest of those should be done shortly in a few days. Grabbed a couple of things for the winter foraging bundle. Oh, Holly's included. Wild that it's not a part of it in the first place though. All right, getting this filled up. Shouldn't take too much longer with that. And I almost forgot about the rare crop bundles. This only takes one item. That's done. So what do we get for that? Oh, free preserve jar. That'll be our first preserve jar, actually. That's really nice. And that'll help us out with the artisan bundle as well. All right, first things first. Robin, let's transplant some trees. So I'm pretty sure this is a completely free service, which is good for us. Now we need to figure out how we want this done. That's what a maple tree looks like? Okay. All right, that's good for now. Uh, just curious. I don't upgrade my horse through you, do I? Doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh, the shed looks so nice. We should probably get started on getting a barn soon. 
I didn't even think about that. Completely forgot about it. So this, you're gonna like this. Boom. Loved item, gold quality. Five out of eight straight up for Maru. And I have barely interacted with her. And here for the dad. So once again, I'm gonna need a lot of copper, so I'm gonna get to it. All right, 5 p.m. That's where I, I set my stopping point there. I don't need to be here. There we go. So over that time, did we run out of coal? We did, wow. Impressive. Well, lucky us, we do have a charcoal kiln right here that we can make use of. We did get quite a few copper bars from that though. So we're going to go ahead and make as many tappers as we can, which is six. Not quite as impressive as I thought I'd, they were gonna be. I believe these are maple trees. Oak, okay, that's fine. We'll diversify. These are maple and we'll save the pine tar for later. I'm going to make a ton of wood flooring and I'm going to set it up between all of the trees. So what that's going to do is now they're all connected, the machines are. And if I make one chest at the end here, just uh, like there, all of the produce from all the trees should automatically go into that chest. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain that is how it will work. I'm also going to battery pack. What? Why did that get set there? Huh? There was just a lightning rod sitting there. I have no clue why. Well, you may join the other lightning rods, I suppose. Before we forget, let's go take a visit to the wizard. We'll grab a void essence as a gift and we have a red mushroom already. So let's go see him. Hello there. First of all, loved gift. Should be pretty easy giving him a ton of those. Second of all, let's complete that mission. And that's one heart with the wizard. Easy as that. Also, what's down here? I don't think I've checked it out yet. Oh goodness. This is like a whole extra, this must be Stardew Valley expanded, if I were to guess. I love the ambiance we have, the glow from all the little pearl lights. This room is filled with magical books. And the Shrine of Trans Your Gender. You grab a book and start reading the contents. Hi, hi there. What are you doing? I only allow those who I trust down here. And one heart isn't trust, I assume. Hmm, the book in your hand is over a hundred years old. It outlines the magical properties of a number of mystical plants. Recently, I was fortunate enough to obtain several seeds of ancient fruit, previously believed to be long extinct, and I'm cultivating them outside. I hope to study their arcane energies as they grow. The world holds countless mysteries waiting to be discovered and studied. Our knowledge of some of these mysteries has been passed down among their magic, among magic practitioners through these books for many generations. Visitors from the town here are rare, and not one of them has been drawn to my books, Sal. If you choose to pursue deeper arcane knowledge, I'll be delighted to assist. Probably. Perhaps one day I'll teach you some light magic, such as changing your appearance. Whoa! Glad to see the prospect excites you. You're a true seeker of knowledge. Considering your connection with the Junimos and arcane potential, I grant you permission to enter my basement. I only ask that you stay away from the Shrine of Illusions and the Warp Hall. Other than those restrictions, browse any books in my collection that interest you. Don't open them too far, as it could crack the spines. Some of these books are many hundreds of years old. Well, I don't know if that has any actual use. Warp Hall, though, intrigues me. Fire Tome, Earth Tome, Lullaby of Whispers, Doom Shadow, yeah. We're just basically looking at titles here. I was hoping that would actually have like a warp. Ancient Plant Codex, Crafting of Tombs and Totems. Junimo Scrolls, there are Junimo symbols you've never seen before. Thought we could read it. So if I try to go over there, not in use, and eh, nothing happens. Uh, the symbols are scratched off. Okay, 
That seems like something that'll be unlocked later. I feel like I remember seeing something about that at some point, but I, I suppose we'll see. I think maybe tomorrow we'll go and buy the Iridium Rod. That'll be our next big purchase. I, I feel like it's just been weird that we haven't upgraded our rod yet. It's just how things panned out, but that's the plan for next time. And while we're here, I might as well set up a preserves jar. Oh gosh, just with any old thing. I can't imagine being too picky. Yeah, a hot pepper, because that'll get us something for the artisan bundle. All right, again, I'm going to do my best to avoid passing out with all this money. So today's the luau, and I realize now that I did in fact completely forget to make something or to get something. Soap maker, soap? Hold on, hold on just a second. So soap maker combines flowers and oil into a bar of soap. So I was told that apparently the only way that people got these machines working is by getting the automate mod to work with them and then it would automatically move like flowers over into it. So that'll probably be something I set up for the next episode since I didn't really add any mods. I feel like we had a lot to do already so I didn't want to add too much at the same time, so. Well, we need to come up with an emergency luau item. And I'm thinking it's probably not going to get us the best result, but it'll get us a good result at the very least. A gold strawberry is probably our best bet. Well, we have one melon. If it's a gold melon. Nope, it's a regular melon, so no can do. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do a couple small errands before, really? No. Oh, it was a forgeable that was blocking our way. I'm gonna do a couple small errands before the luau starts. Whoa, what's that? Holy moly. That's like the stink flower, yeah. Whoa. Oh, we picked up two at the same time, but 468 each? I'm wondering if that has any other uses. I basically came in here for Fiddlehead Ferns so that we can try and clutch out the wild medicine bundle, but of course I'm gonna get some hardwood while we're here as well. A uh, clover, another universal like right there. And it seems that these berry bushes reproduce pretty often. I got hit by an invisible slime. So we'll be able to come in here every now and again. First of all, just get a ton of foraging experience and uh, get those berries, which sell for a decent, I mean, it's not a ton. I am gonna just go ahead and donate all of it and there's your melon and there is all of the fiddlehead ferns which is every single fiddlehead fern we picked to this point so we'll probably get five hops in a few days this should be done growing in a little bit all right to the luau just in time would have been really funny if i walked in here and it was like oh you were too late do you sell anything new no you do have the star fruit but i am not really interested Oh yeah, I was looking at settings to see if there was any way to change Elliot's portrait back to normal because I'm gonna be honest, I think this is my least favorite portrait change in like, out of all of the mods that I have installed. It's not very good. It makes him look so young, which is in against the entire point of him. He's supposed to be the old one. I had a blue moon wine to the adult pot. Oh gosh, I don't think any of the children can have any now though, <laughs> whoops. Help yourself to some glazed ham, radish salad. Oh, this is eating. Oh, you can eat here today. Cool, I wonder if that'll refill my energy because I need it. The governor has honored us with his presence, Sal. I may try speaking with him after Mayor Lewis has finished his conversation. Perhaps he enjoys vintage wine. Isn't that just like old people? Ooh, the mayor, I can't wait to talk. To yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's uh, nice to have governor in, this, in the valley. Mayor Lewis worked so hard to make this luau perfect. I wonder if that slow roast ham Linus is making is almost ready. Mayor Lewis has been chatting up the governor this entire festival. What are those two talking about? Hope they're not talking about me. He's probably got nothing good to say. You are like out for blood with that. I get, I, I, I understand why everyone's like, oh, he's the grumpy one now, jeez. All right, think I got everyone. It's the dialogue you all know and love. Uh, let's toss in a strawberry. So if you don't know exactly what determines how much friendship you gain with everyone from this. It's dependent on the amount of energy and health that the item restores alongside its sale price. So wine would be 
ideal in most situations, but we have strawberries, so that'll get us at least a little bit of friendship. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Yeah, I know. Let's go ahead and munch down. You know, I guess the reason Pierre probably sells a starfruit is so that you can put it in the potluck and it's at least a guaranteed good reaction. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. I tried. <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, governor, what would, you, would would you like to honor us? Honor? Would you like the honor of testing the soup? I struggled with that one. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Well, that's before we got here. So, enjoy. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, I'll take it, I suppose. It's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Should have kept one of those super cucumbers. But, alas. At least it's not negative. Tasty. You all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? You're right. Soup it up. The Luna was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. I do feel like that holiday should just refill your energy, though, right? Guaranteed we had some of that soup. Honestly, I don't know if there's really too much else to do today. I'm just gonna cut down some trees. No, we didn't level up at all today, and I don't really want to wake up once again with a ton of reduced energy, so we're gonna go ahead head to sleep. Guess I already petted the cat. I didn't remember doing that. All right. Well, there will be a thunderstorm tomorrow. Finally. Oh my Lord. We've barely gotten anything out of any of that. And it's really good luck. So I was think, oh, blueberries are ready. It's over for all of you. Fried calamari from Jody. All right. I feel like this is a bit of a random time to get that, but we'll take it. So I don't want this to be like, oh, day five of go into the mines because that's really been our entire week so far oh i got tomatoes and we got hops that's a lot of things that we can donate soon and we do have this so harvest with a scythe maybe lotus oh that's from this pot oh my gosh that's regrowable i didn't realize that okay good to know there's not any regrowable flowers in the game. Well, with all of that, we just about have everything we need for as far as crops go to donate to the community center. And that still didn't get us to level six farming. That's so unfortunate. Maybe petting the animals will do that for us. No such luck, it would appear. Uh, we do need to like keep a few eggs because we need to donate them to the community center. So I will keep a few of them there. I would like to make another chest. And this chest is going to go over here. Actually, you know what? We'll move that up a bit. Or not. Okay. That chest is going to go there. And that is going to be basically items that we need for gift giving, all kinds of stuff. Like, so like everything can be very organized as far as that goes. I'm not gifting Jade to ever, anyone. That is so useful. There we go. So now if I'm ever like, oh, time for a day to gift, I'll have all of these to just pick up and we can go. So I did say I wanted to buy the Iridium rods. So that is what we will be doing today. I should be able to craft. Okay, we got a spinner. What else can we craft as far as bobbers go? Cork bobber, trap bobber. That takes copper though, which I'd rather not use. Treasure hunter with gold bars. Honestly, treasure hunter would be really nice to have. Uh, we don't have a ton of gold bars though, and I do want to save those for making quality sprinklers. So I think we'll hold off on that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and craft a spinner, make a ton of bait, and let's go get our fancy new fishing rod. And since we'll also make a community center run today, I will make one, count them, one fried egg. All right, blueberry for the dye bundle, fried egg for the chef's bundle, then for summer crops, both a blueberry and a tomato, finishing the bundle. What do we get from that? Quality sprinkler, oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really nice. So that leaves a couple of fall crops. Fish farmer bundle, I should get on that. You know what, since we're gonna do fishing today, I'll make sure that I get 
the stuff that I need for a fish pond. We could probably just go ahead and like get that started today. We have the money. Yeah, let's do that. Also, we do need a poppy and we do, I'm just gonna get the sunflower seed here, who cares? Sunflower seeds for some of our community center bundles. I know this is probably the most chaotic looking farming space you've ever seen in your life, as shown by the fact that I keep missing spots, but it works and that's what I'm worried about. So we'll put poppy there, sunflower there, no big deal. Oh, we have a cutscene here. That's hilarious, Olivia. I've had a similar experiences with Vincent's. Moments like this with Victor are a treasure. Abigail used to do that too. Imagine if you'd known this is what parenthood is like. Oh, they're talking about mom moment. Also, Pierre, not working? Hi, Sal. Hello, Sal. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Hello, dear. Wonderful to see you. <laughs> I'm overcome. <laughs> Sal, I heard about the Experience Farm on the radio a few days ago. You're making so much progress. Oh yes, you are, Sal. You've helped our little community to grow. Wow, this is just make me feel good day, isn't it? Jeez. Vineyards are quite profitable in this region. I heard rumors about how much Sophia makes each quarter. Oh yeah, we haven't been able to see her, uh tax mon money things. How much is it? It's over six figures. Oh golly. Sal, have you considered turning experience farm into a vineyard like Blue Moon Vineyard? I mean, that's kind of the end game goal of any farm, isn't it? Um, I'm not really at the level where I can make large amounts of wine yet. I understand. Take your time, dear. If you ever do decide to turn your hand at winemaking, let me know. I want to try the first batch. Oh, I think you'll be there to see it, if I'm honest. Pierre loves getting shipments of your crops from Mayor Lewis, Sal. He says the ri they rival the quality of his own produce. I wish Susan sold her crops locally. She ships her produce out of the valley. Love that they're talking about this. Because you think, oh, there's so many farms, why isn't the valley already getting like a good amount of vegetables? Because most of them ship all around the place. She once let me purchase one of her fresh melons. It was so delicious. I'm just relieved Pierre never sells Andy's crops in his store. I think they're shipped to low-income villages. Huh. Youch. It's true, Olivia. My husband and Andy had an argument recently. Pierre would only allow Andy's produce in the store if it was specifically labeled as grown at Fairhaven Farm. Andy didn't like that. Youch, dude. That's awful. Is he, like, not good at farming? I don't know. Well, this conversation certainly turned sour. Youch. Youch, youch, youch. So we're going back to chatting about parenthood. It was nice seeing you, Sal. Bye, Sal. So then, I wonder if that was an Olivia cutscene? Because it seems just like an everyone cutscene, you know? Could have been, though, since we have been getting a couple of... <laughs> a couple of hearts with Olivia. Oh, yeah, I never showed the result of the Luau. First of all, looks like a lot of our three hearters have now gone up to four hearts. So that was probably Olivia's four heart cutscene, if I were to guess. And looks like almost everyone has at least a heart. Harvey... Uh, Willie, Marlon, and Susan are the only ones not at one, which is rough because Marlon, oh, you know what? Marlon probably didn't get any hearts from the Luau. I wonder if Susan didn't either because we did give her a, cup, a couple of gifts. Ooh, sea urchin just over here. Oh, it's crab crab mating season. I didn't even think of that. Oh, we do need a sea urchin for the dye bundle, so it's good that we got that. Willie, I'm about to make you the happiest man on earth. Give me that there iridium rod. It looks different, doesn't it? That's not how it normally looks, I feel at least. Seaweed salad recipe. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that for now. All right, that is the main rod. Throwing away the bamboo rod. Load the bait, load the spinner. Now we're going to be absolutely goaded with fishing. And there's bubbles down there? Well, I can't say no. With the dynamic reflections mod, this does look very weird. Beautiful, seaweed. I did need to get one seaweed so that we could make a fish pond. <laughs> At least with the mine's entrance, entrance being right there, we do have a bit of a quicker trip over to the carpenter's shop. 
It makes things a little easier. Go Sebastian, since I just happen to have that in my inventory. Robin, 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 Robin. So we're going to construct a farm building and it is going to be a fish pond. Yeah, we needed the five seaweed. Glad I got it. I wasn't 100% sure. So I guess this begs the question. Oh, it can go right here. If I like, oh, that's perfectly lined up. I love that. All right, that'll go there and it'll prevent some of the grass from overgrowing the area too. Cool. So if you forgot, I'm basically going to start setting that up with butterfish because butterfish are a liked item for Olivia. And if we just can't get anything else, that'll be nice to have. Oh, Susan, uh, let's see. I have this diamond. I think I'll, I'll just give you the diamond. For me, thank you. Seems like liked, if not loved. Oh, goodness for me is particularly... Whoops, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have skipped that. Oh, gosh, for me feels very good. So... Since we just upgraded the fishing rod and everything, why don't we go for the crimson fish? I don't see it in the water anywhere, but it should be catchable. Oh, speak of the devil, second fish I hooked. Wow, well, how about that? I mean, given I don't have a bobber that proves our skill at catching, but didn't think it would be too much of a problem. It's just the crimson fish, right? <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe not. You know what could also be an option, though? We could just go over to the Grampleton side. I don't know if that's what they call it. That's what it felt like to me. To the Grampleton kind of area and try to catch, like, the dogfish, the minnow, some more butterfish. Because those are some fish we haven't caught before. Uh, well, I see that there's pike here, actually. All right, let's give it a go. Hold on, bubbles. Hey, I got one. I think that's the first puppy fish I've ever thought of caught. I thought it was a dogfish, but yeah, here we are. While I think this fishing session has gone a little bit better than usual, I should probably get a, ooh, chipped amphora. I should probably get a bobber that's actually good for fishing, that actually improves your fishing skill, like the cork bobber or something like that. We'll figure it out. In the meantime though, Olivia, happy silver butterfish. Unfortunately, it appears I've arrived right after people start leaving. I have a bit of money, so I thought I'd throw a bit around, you know? So here we go, beer for Andy. You know he loves it. That, that seemed like a loved item actually, didn't it? You know he's all about that. Pam as well, you gotta do it. Boom, there it is. And Shane, of course, I think we've already might have only given you one gift this week. I do also have an amethyst for Emily, because why not? Now, it would appear that I did indeed not go to the traveling cart, which is fine. Since I'm not really relying on it for the red cabbage seed or the red cabbage itself, I'm not too worried about it. Forgot that clam don't count as a fish. I was going to, like, turn all my fish into sashimi and then sell them, but, like, clams, they just don't count. Alrighty, I don't believe we've gotten any level up. Oh, we did get a cooking level up. In that case, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time tonight just cutting down trees and stuff. Oh, oh, I didn't think I was gonna pass out. I mean, it's 190 gold. I guess that's not that big of a deal. I just didn't expect it. Lobster bake, loaded potato, and stuffed potato. Lobster bake seems like it would give a fishing buff. That might be something worth checking out. Finally, another thunderstorm. That genuinely took so long. Also, it's, it's Alex's birthday? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is new. I understand you've been growing some flowers from the seeds from the Ferngills Florist Association, dear. Did you know that they can be used in cooking recipes? This is a simple one, but was always one of my favorites. There are plenty of other recipes you can use the flowers for as well. Hope you try making some of them from Evelyn. Um, that didn't give me any of them. Maybe it wasn't supposed to give us any. It was just supposed to introduce us to it. Uh, Strange Bun from Shane. And Lion is saying that he, we're lucky he found us. Okay, cool. I can deal with that couple more blueberries. Can we get a level six? 
Farming, yay, we did it, oh my gosh. Also, we're getting hops every day, so that's gonna give us a bit of experience. All right, in that case, this seems like a good day to fix all these sprinklers up into quality sprinklers. I just so happen to be able to make like 10. Oh, we don't get it today. I always hate that. I feel like you should get it the moment you level up, but I get it. The game doesn't even tell you when you level up normally, so I suppose I understand. Well, I wasn't able to sell my stuff last night, so we'll make a pretty penny out of all this, won't we? Uh, we do have enough hops for the wild medicine bundle now. Okay, I have a plan. So this is the last day of the week to give out gifts to anyone that we might want to do that to. So we'll go around, do a gift giving day, because I would like to give the second one to the wizard as well. And then we're going to go to the mines and we're going to get that star drop. That's my plan. Here you go, wizard. Beautiful. I was kind of hoping we'd hit two hearts with you. I, I, I'm assuming they added new heart cutscene with the wizard as well. Cutscenes, rather. I don't know if y'all are aware, but Alex doesn't really have any good loved gifts for us to get, so I'm just going to give him gold egg. It's a liked item. It's gold quality. It'll do fine. Jody, for some reason, was really jonesing for some seaweed, or some green algae, rather. Different items. Was that just high? Was that it? Nice to see you again. That's funny. I realize, okay, good, Alex isn't in his room. Because honestly, if he was in his room, I was going to be like, let's not worry about it. Because like, you know. And while we're here, we can fill in the dye bundle, only leaving four crazy wild items left on it. And finish the wild medicine bundle. Giving us two cookout kits. Okay, interesting. That would have been nice to have before I upgraded my house. All right. Like I said, it's time to start earning some star drops. That is my goal for the day. And it also happens to be a feeling lucky day, so we should do pretty well here. I don't know why, but for some reason on this trip, it feels like I'm getting absolutely swarmed by enemies. Like, look at that. There's so many of them. Ooh, dwarf scroll three. We don't have that yet. Good, we needed that. Oh, combat level up. Good, we needed it. Another dwarf scroll three. Okay. Emerald, I believe that's my first emerald since those only start spawning at floor 80. Cool. Well, I did pick up a mission to slay three uh, crabs. And it's worth a hefty 540 gold. Sorry, that took a while. So I think I'll try to put that in tomorrow. Oh my god, there's a staircase all the way in the inside of the spiral. That's terrible. I hate it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That took forever. Genuinely, one of... I mean, I'm so close to the middle, right? Genuinely, one of the worst floor 99s I've ever gotten. Because it's always this layout on floor 99. There's a couple others like that. I think like 20, like 19 or something. Anyway... Might as well cash in on all the goods. Did we get anything particularly special? I mean, almost everything stacked into my inventory, so we didn't get anything that I didn't already have. There's your, like, gotcha dopamine hit for the day, opening up all those crates. But that does mean that finally we get our first star drop. That took a while. That's a, that's a bit into the game. Although I'm trying to... Th I don't... I think there's really too many that you would get before this point, would you? Well, maximum energy level has increased. I'm a little tempted to just go ahead and start fishing for, like, lava eels. I think instead what I'm going to do... 12, 10 a.m. Oh! Hey there, Sal. We just received a new stock of weapons. Oh, okay. Does he appear there whenever... Oh, there, he's got to love, like, solar essence, right? Oh, I'm going to try it. Thanks. Okay, that's neutral. Or liked. I, I really can't tell. I'm going to spend some real quick time... Oh, my God. Uh, grinding the suit sprites. And that's it. <laughs> I killed zero. I just realized exactly how late it is. Ooh, grapes that I can't carry? Awesome. So we're going to use all this to fill in Morris going home in the rain. Oh, that's so sad. 
use all this to start filling in all this in the furnaces. Uh, I was going to say, I think I'll remove the iron ore for now because I'd rather everything else be cooked first. So we'll put that in last because uh, it's including the gold ore. In fact, you know what? I think gold ore first before anything else because then we can make more quality sprinklers tomorrow. And I would like to expand that pretty much as much as possible. Cookout kit worth 160. I'll, I'll be fully honest. I do not see myself ever using the cookout kits. So like genuinely don't care. All right, let's get to bed before we pass out. So I guess tomorrow will be a very big expanding our farm day. And from level six farming, we got quality sprinklers, cheese presses, and hardwood fences. From level six combat, we got slime egg presses and oil of garlic. Neither of which we'll be using for a very, very, very long time. Gosh, the money from tea saplings always drives me insane. Alrighty, Sunday fun day. Queen of the sauce. Why does Queen of the sauce not show up? I already know how to cook pancakes. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that would explain it. Because we bought it at the saloon. Alright, busy, busy day. Evelyn mentioned you were making some food with the flowers you were growing. My pappy passed this recipe to me. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Man, why does every part of this mod have to be a little messed up? That's unfortunate. I don't really know what I could even do to fix that. Because I already fixed getting this stuff. I don't know. My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. Oh, it's that mission. All right. Got a couple more crops to pick. Along with all of those melons. Okay. Uh, melons take, what, Thir 11, 13 days. So we should be able to just plant a ton of melons. So here's the deal. I want this entire area to be crops, essentially. So let's remove, ah, I really need to be careful because eventually I'm gonna do that to like my ancient fruit and it's not gonna be a fun little time. It's not gonna be a cute little moment. So, I mean, I, I'm sure I can use those normal sprinklers for something but yeah 12 quality sprinklers and i am using all of them boom 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 don't know what to tell you boom yeah i'm gonna do it i'd rather the convenience of not having to water literally anything than to have those few flowers all right let's get to work there we go and lightning did strike that one stowed walkway, so I guess we'll fix that. Uh, mahogany seed or a plant? Um, plant. <laughs> I know that hurts y'all. That's the funniest part, and honestly, I might have not done it if it didn't hurt y'all, but it's funny, so I did it. And you know, even then, we have 10 more gold bars to make even more quality sprinklers if we really wanted, but I'm not too worried about that. Could make a few more tappers. Should I go ahead and do that? 40 wood. Yeah, we'll make four more tappers, set them up real quick. Now, how did this chest automatically get maple seeds and acorns? I know I did not put that in there. All right, that's enough. Put that starfruit seed there and then we'll really get busy. Just think to myself, don't mind me. He was like humming and hawing. Also, I love his summer outfit. It's just like a little fun t-shirt. So absolutely going crazy in town today, giving out a bunch of gifts. It's Sunday. It'll make our next week a little bit easier if I want to focus on other thing. Bring Sophia Melon. Uh, that sucks. I just harvested all ball and sold them. I'll take it because maybe we can use it. Uh, red mushroom to Victor, which is not too bad. Bring Marlin a rainbow trout. Yeah, right. We'll see. Oh, hi, Sophia. Funny you're here. Ruining my eyeliner. Do you just have a bad day every day? Sorry, now isn't a good time. Oh, I think maybe since we have two hearts, she's like alluding to a cutscene. Um. Oh gosh, I want to give her something she'll like, but I don't really have any guarantees there, do I? Yeah, I'll hold off then. Uh, Maru, you on the other hand can have strawberry. All right, let's donate a few items to clear up our inventory. The emerald. Chipped amphora and the th oh, you move down there. New achievement treasure trove. Oh sweet, must have donated like what forty or something. That did give us a rare crow. Cool. We do need another scarecrow, so I think I'll probably just use that. And now let's crack open some geodes.
cool. Uh, we got three pyrites from that. And the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure we've gotten pyrite before too. So it's already been donated. One thing I was thinking about as we're starting to get more money now. Oh no, I haven't donated pyrite. Okay, that works then. Since we're starting to get more money, I should probably start thinking about donating to the vault bundles. And I know I'm gonna need quite a bit of money to get that really going in the first place. I was supposed to buy crops today. Oh Lord, oh geez, it's 450. No way I ruined that. Oh lucky yes, a cutscene. Hey there, Susan. Oh Andy, I don't see you that often at Pierre's. Jojo has a lot of good cheap stuff, but they don't carry my favorite jerky. Speaking of which, mind grabbing the bag over there for me? Tell you what, jerky's a seller. So expensive though. I, I literally do not get beef jerky. Well, honestly, I'll take a Slim Jim over it. Sorry, sorry. I'll get crucified for that. Thank you kindly. Ain't nothing beats here that this here brand. For sure. Hi guys. Hi, sweetie. Buying supplies today? Yeah, Pierre always has what I need. Ah, Sal's here too. <laughs> the whole farming squad. We could make a whole Fortnite squad. Oh my gosh. Don't forget me. Now we could make a Fortnite squad and a half. Would you look at that? All the farmers of Stardew Valley right here. Yay us. This is cute. Love it. To be fair, Pierre is also one, but does he count? Please, 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 please. Uh. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, I can still plant melons if it's tomorrow, but damn, you know? Pierre, look at me in my eyes. Tell me you didn't do that on purpose. You can't, you can't say it. Also, before it gets too late, I think I'm just gonna start giving Olivia diamonds. Since it works, it's safe. Jody told me Vincent isn't doing too well in math. She has so much to worry about. I may ask Victor if he can tutor him. If not, I suppose I have the knack for math from trading. That wizard in the tower isn't allowing them to proceed. What? Oh, I must have talked to you earlier and you just like <laughs> finished your thought like willy nilly. Oh, another cutscene, oh gosh. This must be for Martin. Come on, kiddo, I don't got all day. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I'll ring this up for you now. Uh, how's this? Hmm. Oh, no. He doesn't know how to use a wick card or food stamps, maybe. Hey, Claire, can you help me with this transaction? Oh, poor Martin. Uh, sure. Wasting my time. Oh no. Oh god. Poor Martin. Oh, you need to press the other items button. Ah, that was it. Oh, it must have just been a an item. Sorry, I assumed it was like <laughs> okay. Would you like your receipt, ma'am? No. Well damn. That lady was kinda scary. She's a regular customer, so you'll see her again. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for helping. You're welcome. I've been told that Claire becomes a little less Joja y later on. If you want air conditioning, Joja Mart has you covered. Do they, you know, do they now? Uh, again, I don't think I have anything you particularly like, other than the pepper, I suppose. Bean starters. Oh, poppies. Well, huh. I could just grab it now and not have to worry about donating it later. That would be convenient. Same with the corn, to be honest. Pomegranate sapling grows in fall. We could plant it now and get some pomegranates. We need a pomegranate, don't we? Fairly certain we do. Uh, Might as well, in that case. Fiber seeds would be nice, too, to be honest. Oh, gosh. Takes seven days, though. Uh, maybe we could save it for winter. 
in that case. I'll take it. I will grab the one poppy. Oh, I don't have any artifact. Oh, yeah, I do. Since we're here, Penny likes all artifacts. It's easy. And for that fruit tree, pretty limited. I don't want to fill in our farming place. I could just put it over near the, uh, the other trees, you know? Like right here. Can't argue with that. So first things first, we need to move our horse. Deconstruct this just a little bit because it'll be going right down the middle there. And then I was thinking it would come down this path, kind of bisect the trees down the middle. And it will go under that, that chest there. But now we just need to fill it in with wood. All right, there we go. There's really no need to expand it over here yet, because this is all I need to get to. But yeah, that's why I was thinking of moving the trees over one spot to the left, because then this walkway would be fully visible and it, it just look a little cleaner is all. And I'll go ahead and use the rest of what I have. What is it, one in the morning? Sure. I'll go ahead and use the rest of what I have to expand down this way so that this doesn't look too out of place. And we'll break that in the middle. And I exhausted myself. Oops. Let's hope we can get back to bed. Uh, I'll pr honestly, I'll probably change what the tiles look like. I'll find a different mod for that because I d the corners just aren't, I can't do it, you know? Anyway, got a, quite a bit done today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one when we enter the second half of summer. And good night.